Hi viewers, let's begin with the next video, enforcing strong password criteria. Previously, we locked down users' home directories. In this video, we will look at the importance of strong password criteria. Then we will install PW Quality and use it to perform a lab for setting password complexity criteria. You wouldn't think that a benign sounding topic such as strong password criteria would be so controversial, but it is. The conventional wisdom that you've undoubtedly heard for your entire computer career says, make passwords of a certain minimum length. Make passwords that consist of a combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Ensure that passwords don't contain any words that are found in the dictionary or that are based on the user's own personal data. Force users to change their passwords on a regular basis. But, using your favorite search engine, you'll see that different experts disagree on the details of these criteria. For example, you'll see disagreements about whether passwords should be changed every 30, 60, or 90 days, disagreements about whether all four types of characters need to be in a password, and even disagreements on what the minimum length of a password should be. However, having said all that, there is the reality that most organizations are still wedded to the idea of using complex passwords that regularly expire, and you'll have to abide by their rules if you can't convince them otherwise. And besides, if you are using traditional passwords, you do want them to be strong enough to resist any sort of password attack. So now, we'll take a look at the mechanics of enforcing strong password criteria on a Linux system. In any case, there are two advantages of passphrases over passwords. They're more difficult to crack than traditional passwords, yet they're easier for users to remember. For extra security though, just don't create passphrases about a fact of your life that everybody knows about. First, we will install and configure PW Quality. We'll be using the PW Quality module for PAM, Pluggable Authentication Module. This is a newer technology that has replaced the old Cracklib module. On a Red Hat 7 or CentOS 7 system, PW Quality is installed by default, even if you do a minimal installation. If you cd into the etc pam.d directory, you can do a grep operation to see that the pam configuration files are already set up. So let's do that. Open the etc security pwquality.conf file in your preferred text editor using these commands. Remove the comment symbol from in front of the minlen line and change the value to 19. It should now look like this. Save the file and exit the editor. Next, create a user account for Goldie. An attempt to assign her the passwords Turkey Lips, Turkey Lips, and Turkey 93 Lips. Exit from the current directory. Then create the user account with this command. Again, go to root and open the pwquality.conf file. In the pwquality.conf file, Comment out the minlen line. Uncomment the min class line and the max class repeat line. Change the max class repeat value to 5 and the min class value to 3. Save the file and exit the text editor. Try assigning various passwords that don't meet the complexity criteria that you've set to Goldie's account and view the results. So exit from here and change the password. See you get different comments. We will now move to root and enter the etc folder and open login.defs file. In the etc login.defs file, you'll see the line pass min len 5. Supposedly, this is to set the minimum password length, but in reality, PW quality overrides it. So, you could set this value to anything at all, and it would have no effect. I hope you all know now how to set password complexity criteria. In the next video, we will set and enforce password and account expiration.